It's Mike Ross, also known as Mike on the Mic. He's getting ready for his upcoming 2022 comedy run. He'll be kicking it off at Vinnie Brand's Stress Factory Comedy Club. Caroline's on Broadway. Punchline Philly. You don't want to miss him take the stage at the DC Improv. Then he'll be coming to the Atlanta Improv. And at Chocolate Sunday's Comedy Show in Los Angeles, California. It's Mike on the Mic. Looking forward to seeing you there. What's happening, y'all? It's your man, Sam, and here at Viral Hip Hop News. Listen, do me a favor. You see the brother right now on your screen. Go down to my description box and follow Chakra Doctor at Chakra Doctor TV on YouTube. Your only place to find miracle food. Stuff is like, okay, we get the religious aspect and things right. like that. And there's probably things out there that could be truth to that. But nobody really knows at the end of the day. You're not going to know until you make that journey, if you're even conscious of that. So it's just so much, you know... Red area or green area or whatever. A gray area, I should say, with that. You ever see that uh, Disney movie, Soul, with Jamie Foxx? Never seen it. Man, I took I fucking ate shrooms and watched that shit with my oh, family. And that man. shit had me fucking bugging. Man. man I will talk about that later. But yeah, yeah, that shit was dope. Definitely. Let's move over to this story right here, man. Now, according to documents obtained by all hip-hop, Snoop Dogg's accuser, goes, who goes by the name of uh, Jane Doe, dropped her lawsuit against Snoop Dogg and Bishop Magic Don Juan. She pretty much claimed... That she was sexually assaulted by those men um, back in 2013. I'm not going to get into the story, but she said a few things that she was forced to do. But she dropped her lawsuit. Now, Snoop Dogg maintained the whole time that this, this was a witch hunt. He was innocent. What do you think about you know this lady now, Jane Doe? We don't even know who she is. Dropping her lawsuit against Snoop. Um, you ask yourself why? Why go through all of this to only drop it? But I guess maybe she felt as though her lawyer. She got felt paid, though, maybe on the plaza. <laughs> I mean, that that was option number two and the obvious option. I was just trying to paint a different kind of picture for the people. But we obviously know maybe some money was slid to something, which was probably ultimately what she wanted anyway. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because I mean, and who knows? I don't want to talk to the women and take their opinion, but in my opinion. This is what this was for anyway. This was for some bread. You know what I'm saying? This was for yeah. some money. And yeah. it looks like she got what she wanted. And she decided to go, you know what, fuck it. We don't need to take this any further. And Snoop Dogg is going to still live the bubbly life that he's been living. And Mr. NFT and Mr. Uh, just lovable person throughout the world. And everybody will continue to move on because we'll forget about this next week now. You know, and the thing is about it, too. I'm looking at it like if there was nothing behind the scenes, like a deal done, and if this lady was lying, I think that it should be, you know, some type of uh, charge or something that should be out there for lying about a situation. You know what I mean? Like this. Because this, but all, you see how, how frustrated T.I. got about that joke. You know what I mean? Um, this could ruin somebody's whole, it could lose money, endorsement deals off a mere allegation. Not saying that that happened to Snoop. Looked like he got even more money mm -hmm. after this. I don't think it was too credible, but... Do you feel that way too? I feel like damn right. Like this woman, whoever she is, you know, needs to be held liable and accountable for like why are you dropping a suit now? Not only that, I'm almost arguing should they their identity be exposed? I mean, you expose yeah. their identity yeah. and expose something to the world that now they're guilty and, until proven innocent, and even then their reputation is still ruined. You look at even Deshaun Watson and what he's going through. He could be innocent of all of that crap and yeah. still people look at him like he's a piece of trash. Yeah. You see how it ruins somebody's character. So I argue even their identity be exposed, albeit, you know what I mean, you don't want to see nobody getting put in a dangerous situation, but if you put somebody through that public embarrassment, don't you deserve a little bit of embarrassment yourself? I think so. Absolutely. And eventually, I guess her name probably would have came out you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, I guess we'll, we'll find out one day about this. But I, I don't like this trend that I see, this growing trend, you know, of women and, you know, lying on these men, you know, for financial gain, man. I, I don't like that at all, man. It's too easy. It's way too easy. It's too easy to destroy a person. It's too easy to take out of their pocket because even if somebody's innocent, they don't want to deal with the headache. And they know it's easier to slide a couple out the way and they talking to their accountant and can allocate funds and shit. You shouldn't even have to go through that shit. But right. the fact that you could... To end some bullshit, yeah. I think it's easier. I yeah. would. Yeah. Let's talk about this joint right here.